In little less than eight hours, 1,700 workers at Fairpoint Communications will report to work under contract for the first time since August. This after spending months on the picket lines. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon joins us now live in the studio with a closer look at how they got to this point. Courtney. Steve, the new contract includes a union-run health insurance plan and a provision that allows the company to outsource jobs in extreme situations, to name a few. A compromise, months in the making. It started when both sides failed to reach an agreement on core benefits. And on October 17th, workers took to the picket lines. In November, a month after workers started picketing, the two sides met in Boston at the negotiating table for the first time. But talks quickly broke down. In December, the National Labor Relations Board dismissed union complaints that the North Carolina based company bargained in bad faith. It wasn't until after the new year that the two sides would meet again in a closed door, federally mediated session in Washington, D.C., the first of many in a weeks long battle over the new contract. One of the central issues, whether the company would be allowed to hire outside contractors to work on new technologies. By the end of January, the strike reached its 100-day mark. And weeks later, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that the Fairpoint strike was the largest and most prolonged work stoppages in the country last year. <laughs> This past weekend, union members voted to ratify the proposed contract, ending the four-month-long strike and ensuring workers will be contracted until August 4, 2018. Both sides tell us they view this as a win-win situation. Workers and representatives from Fairpoint we spoke with say they're ready to return to work tomorrow. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.